Hey there. So what I had in mind is I opened the all the A to D to dataset and I actually took the images from the dataset preview and uploaded those to our platform. And my idea was to run through these a couple of these images with you while labeling them, uh, just to give you an insight on the platform. Let's maybe start with the first one. So as a brief recap, a labeler receives suggestions on the screen, on the image. And then by using this mouse scroll wheel, you can actually change the granularity of these suggested segments. And in this way, you can label very adaptively. For example, let's maybe start with all the cars. A single click here provides the car and then with some short keyboard shortcuts, you can change the class, right? Again, sometimes you need a little bit of scrolling to get the right size of the segments to do some modifications and sometimes also a little bit of a paintbrush, right? And in this way, let me just continue to label the other uh, instances and objects. You can label pretty fast, right? And still obtain a very high accuracy on the edge. So here I have done all the cars. Let me now move to the trucks. Here at the back, we also have some cars. Here, this seems to be a bit of a car group. So let's label it like that. Here at the left, we seem to have another car as well. Let's then maybe shift here to the left to this fence. So let's select the fence with a single click and then each of these supports. Again, with a ma manual tool, this would require multiple clicks, but now it's just a single click per support of the fence and maybe here at the back let's just take this entire piece with it as well here we go a little bit of manual adjustments for those end parts and then labeling as fence and we have it as a fence let's now just select the entire road here we go select these pieces and these pieces also this remaining piece and we have the road this left part seems to be some terrain as well. Here we have another piece of the road on the other side. This looks to be some kind of, well, it just looks to be terrain and then some vegetation here. There we go. This looks good. Maybe here at the back as well. Removing this piece from it. This looks to be another truck that we forgot in the beginning. And then again, a piece of terrain here. We have the sky. And then let's include this part as the a piece of pole or building, let's call it. Um, or maybe even traffic light, let's call it traffic light. And then here, some including some spurious pixels. And as you see, two minutes, we have labeled this entire image edge accurately, right? For both, as mentioned, semantic map, as well as an instance map, right? Let me stick it to the semantic coloring for the moment, all right? Here we go. And let's hop on to the next one. Next one, a little bit more in an urban area. Let's have a look where we will start. Let's start again, maybe with the cars. This car, a single click. First, let's change the label of the car. This car as well. This looks good. This looks good as well. Maybe here, some corrections as such. This one, again, also a single click with a little bit of modification on the right-hand side. Maybe here at the back as well. Here we go. Then maybe here at the right hand side, we have this car removing this piece at the front, right? Yeah, this was already a car. Then a car at the back here. We have a truck or yeah, let's or bus maybe. Let's call it a bus. This looks also to be a small van. Let's include it as a bus as well. And then here we have another car. 
Then let's have a look at the sidewalk here, right? So again, two clicks and some correction here at the back. Let's remove a bit of the thing at the top. This looks good. Then this piece of terrain over here. And then the parking lot, let's also include that as terrain. We have a bush, let's include that as vegetation. And then we have these traffic signs over here. Single click, a little bit of correction on the edge here as well. Here as well, a very small sign. And then the pole. Here we go. We had another poll over here. It's actually a traffic sign, but normally we should not label this as a traffic sign, right? Because it's the other way around. So let's include this as a poll as well. Here we have another poll. Then let's continue with the roads. Here we also have a piece, it seems, at the back here and then here. Roads. Um, and then we have the sky here and then all the rest seems to be vegetation oh, and here we have a piece of sidewalk and then terrain right oh we missed some parts let's use the paintbrush to just group all these other pixels that were left over Again, I guess a little bit less than two minutes for this image. Let's hop on to the next one. This is a relatively easy one, it seems. So we have this car, we have the rear view mirror, car, car, car. Then we have a truck. Let's select this entire piece of road. I think we this part could be included in the sky and then all the remaining seems to be vegetation maybe not this part but because this looks to be a kind of truck and let's remove a part of the other label and include it in this one here we go Oh, and we should, of course, still label it as truck. Here we go. And let's hop on to the next one. And let's maybe keep this one as the final one. We could keep on going, right? Um, having a look where we should start. Let's start with the cars as well. Let's start on the left hand side. We select this car or piece of car at the front, the middle, and then the back. Small modification here. Here we have a car, single click. Here we have a car, single click. Maybe removing this part underneath the car. Here we go. Car, car. Then let's do this person later. We have a car here as well. This looks to be a car group. So let's include that later as well. How are we going to do this one? Let's start with the one in the middle. It seems, here we go, here we go. Some correction here, some correction there. Here we go. And then we have this car and then this car. We mentioned we had a car group here at the back, it seems, and also here, it seems, right? So let's remove this entire part and let's include it as a car group. Then we have here as well, a kind of car group. And then we had the person here, right? So this is, uh, the resolution is not that well at the end of the image. So let me just do that manually. Here we go. This looks good. Next step. Let's have a look at the vegetation here. 
one click, two clicks, and then maybe the stem here as well of the tree. We have here this one, here we have another part of the leaf. Oh, and let's include this branch as well. And then we have the sidewalk here. Let's include the cobblestones as well. We have this piece of terrain. Let's hop over to the left sidewalk. Here we go. Here we might need to do some manual corrections. Here we go. And we can select this part in the middle and color over this part. Let's correct this just a little bit over here. And then this looks good. Then let's have a look at the terrain here. Oh. Here we go, terrain, terrain. Then we have the roads. Then we have maybe these poles here. This is an easy one. And then this one, a single click. And then maybe for the remainder, we can just use a kind of straight paintbrush tool. Here we go. And then having a look, what we do we have else? We have some vegetation here as well at the end. Here we go. We have the sky. And then we have all the rest seems to be building. Here we go. Right. Having a look, did we miss any pixels? We did not. Let's have a look at the instance map as well. And it looks actually pretty, pretty fine, right? Again, must be three minutes top to label this entire image edge accurately, right? Let me pause here for this moment. I think this gives a pretty fair insight of how our platform is working to accelerate labeling for segmentation. We have a couple of additional workflows behind this, leveraging your models in the loop, model assisted labeling as we call it, as well as some fine tools and fine features on the platform to help you curate your data sets and improve your models much, much better, right? I'll leave it like here as it is. Uh, thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how this could be helpful for you and until later.